What's up everybody, I'm Brian from iWantessa and this is day three of the off-road build. Thanks for joining me. If, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because there's a lot more that I got going on here. Not just, again, this is not just a lift and big tires. We're going flat out with this build and it's going to be the first in the world but it's gonna be awesome. So last night I was able to put the suspension on the back this morning. I did the front suspension and I did some modifications that I don't really wanna put on video, but it is time to put it on the ground. Put the big wheels on, set it on the ground and see if it rolls, see if it rubs, see if it works, see where it rubs and see if we can actually do something about that. Cause sometimes you can't. I have to raise it up to actually put the tires on because we're up that much higher. All right, so like I said, I have the rear suspension all the way on. I have the front suspension all the way on and you can see it's quite a bit lower. So we, like I said, we do have to lift this up. And what's really nice about these jack stands, I got these jack stands from Teslarati. These are safe jack jack stands. Again, these are only four points that you can jack the car up and you're using one of the points with the jack itself. So you, the top plate comes off, you use that to lift the car up and then you put the arms on afterwards. But what's really great is once you, since this car is so rigid, from the rear end, from the rear jacking point, you can lift this whole side of the car. Lift this side up, put these two tires on, remove that jack, lower this whole side of the car and then do the same thing on the other side. It makes it so easy to put up on jack stands and it takes it take it off of jack stands. If you do that from the front, you're not gonna be able to lift the whole thing. It's really just the back here. I think because of the rear motor is pretty heavy compared to the front end and the extra components for the battery. So most of the weight is towards the back. So I'm excited to get this on the ground and uh, see what it looks like. So I always like to lower it down slowly, even though I'm on those jack stands there, you wanna be really careful because if it, if it tips over, that can fall and puncture the battery. I don't see that happening, but just to be on the safe side, you wanna do that. Now, you saw me use the gun to put the tires back on. A little out of breath, those things are heavy. I'll weigh the wheels before I put this side on, and I'll show you that next, but you don't wanna use the gun to put it on all the way. What I did was I was slowly threading it on there so I didn't have to sit there with my hands and do that. I'm gonna go through and tighten those with a torque wrench. 129 pounds or 130 pounds is what you torque uh, wheels to on a Tesla and that's what I'm gonna do in a second. So, All right, so I've got one of the wheels here. I've got a scale. We're gonna weigh this puppy. Again, the stock 21s are 68 pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> These these monster tires are only 60 pounds. So these, this 19 inch wheel, which is a heavy wheel by the way, and this thick monster wheel is lighter than the stock 21 inch wheels from Tesla. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought this would be heavier, um, which is great for my efficiency because with overlanding, it's not so much the, the rock crawling and stuff. We're not going over obstacles. We're not conquering obstacles. We're actually traveling. The whole point of overlanding is the journey, the travel to somewhere uh, very remote and maybe camping out or just going somewhere. So this is gonna help. All right, it is on the ground. Look at that ground clearance right now. That's ridiculous. I'm so excited, man. I'm so happy right now. Now it is on the ground. I just put this here just so we can measure this. Look at that gap here. This is amazing. This is, oh, this has turned out to be so good. Again, I have not compressed the suspension. There's plenty of play here. There's a lot more room underneath the car. I'm getting excited. I hope you're getting excited. This is freaking awesome. This makes the two very long days so far worth it. I mean, this is, this is really cool. Ah, uh, man. All right, I'm gonna pull it outside. Hard to see out here, it's bright out here, but look at this suspension lift. That is so aggressive looking. I am so happy for this thing. Oh my God, this is gonna be so much fun. Color is nice out here, or is, is a greenish tan, but more of an off-road thing and it really glistens in the sun. Man, this is so cool. I wanna drive it a little bit to compress the suspension a little bit and then measure the gap, but you can see right there. 
So cool, so cool, man. I don't know about you, but I'm super happy with this so far. I pulled it back in the garage. It was super hot out there. It's like 91 degrees, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the rest of the vinyl work. Once this cools off, I've been running the air conditioner a little bit, so, so things do cool off. I tried wrapping this in one piece. Didn't turn out so well. If there's any company out there that makes a cap, a carbon fiber cap, I know there's a few. Uh, hit me up, I'd be interested in one of these things. Uh, just because I don't think vinyl is going to work too well on that. There's too much of a sharp curve, and I don't want to piece it. I want one piece if I do that. And this stuff is not good to over. It's not good to put stickers on top of this material. That's why I have the logo embossed into the hood. So what do you think, everyone? I'm going to clean this top rail, and we're going to vinyl top this. And right now, I'm just taking alcohol and cleaning off this top rail here. The better job you do prepping, the better job you'll have. Got my step stool. It's one of the rims. Right here is the vinyl. I've already pre-cut it. I'm going to start from this end. There's a big tapered area that I want to make sure I have correct. And then this part doesn't really matter as much. But... And just like that, this is all down. And then I'm just going to cut along the glass using my knife, wherever I put my knife, I gotta find that. Going along the night, the glass here, remove that piece, that gives me enough reveal to then come back in with. Now the weather stripping is right here. Hopefully you can see that. Now this, well we just cut to the glass here. We didn't cut on the glass, we just rest, we put our blade right up against the glass. And we got a nice straight cut, which is perfect. Now this, this little tool actually came with my roof rack uh, that I bought from Tesla, the roof bars from Yakima. Um, this is really cool because this pulls the weather stripping back enough where I can take this tool and push the vinyl down. And I'm able to get pressure up against to help with the adhesion behind the weather stripping. The only problem is, I have to pull back because it does grab on the weather stripping a little bit or the vinyl and then so I kind of have to work down. It's very tedious but sometimes that's what it takes to get a really good job done. So it's all done. Well, I gotta heat it up to make sure and really shrink the corners a little bit better. But everything is tucked perfectly. Looks really clean. These are the brackets for the roof rack because I'm gonna put that on later. Looking awesome. I'm so excited to, again, you've heard me say this so many times, I'm so excited for this. The way it's coming out is exactly what's in my head. I'm thankful I'm able to show it with you guys and share it with you guys. And I'm thankful for the sponsors that I've had for this. I haven't, not everything's for free. I've, I've paid for a lot of things, but probably by the end of this, I'll have a total, really don't want to watch, look at my Amazon account, but I'll have a total of everything that it, it costs to do this. But there it is for day three. Day three was a big success. We were able to go on the road. We were able to drive it on the road, well, just up the driveway. And now I'm going to put the, tonight I'm just going to put the wheel wells on there, um, put the roof rack on, play with the roof rack a little bit, finish up. I probably won't get to the bumper. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But Karen's almost home from her parents' house. She was, uh, she was there for the weekend. So I'm going to uh, spend the rest of the evening doing a little bit of this and uh, hanging out with her, maybe go swimming and uh, enjoy the rest of my Sunday. You do the same. Well, it's not your, this is already in the past for you. Anyway, enjoy your day. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and we'll see you later.